Howdy Chummers, it's me, Kriegy, back with you today to clean out the Crown Vic. Because last time I showed you that there was so much junk in this Crown Vic that before I can even work on it, I want to clean it out, figure out what I actually have in here, because I don't even know... I don't actually know what's in here, and that trunk... I haven't popped the trunk in a very long time. Because... Every time I come to pop the trunk, I have to jump start it, and until recently, I haven't been carrying a jump pack with me, because it's always been in either road panzer or charging at home, and it's just not convenient. So, that's what we're doing today, is we're going to clean out the Vic, we're going to see what's in here, and, because it's just as much as a surprise for me as it is you, because a lot of this stuff in here, I don't even know where it came from. So, that is what we're doing today. So, first things first, we're going to clean out, we're going to clean out the passenger seat, because so much junk on the passenger seat right now. So yeah, you've seen kind of, again, you know, what's all in the passenger seat over there, and I'm switching cameras today because, you know, I've got my little GoPro up on the dash alongside with my actual camcorder. So, it's kind of a work in progress because this is actually my first video not using a webcam. Whereas, you know, with a webcam, everything is set up in, you know, my studio. So, it's kind of like I can just go and do it. I don't actually have mounts for, well I have a mount for the GoPro, and I have a mount for this, but the mount for this is a dash mount, so it actually sits up on the, you know, it sits up on the dash so I can record and do whatever, and same with the GoPro, I don't actually have like a tripod mount for anything, so that's kind of on the bucket list of stuff to get when I can, because, you know, right now let's just clean out the Vic and see what we've actually got. Alright, so first things first. I got this, which this is just a dress that I wear sometimes when I go out. And it's actually see that's my whole thing is what I need to do is I need to get bags. Just bags and box all this stuff up because some of this stuff, like this, this is an ADM 300 survey meter Geiger counter. So this actually is a radiation detector, which, you know, one of the things that I used to do is, still kind of do, is I'm a radiological compliance inspector. So... I carry these in my vehicles all the time because I was required. Now, obviously, this one is dead because I haven't charged the battery in a long time. Next thing we have are... So these... These are the fuel injectors for the Crown Vic. So, yeah, brand new Motocraft fuel injectors, which we're gonna we're gonna put these bad boys in the under the hood as soon as I get the intake manifold, because I've just decided that I'm going to just completely replace everything. The intake manifold, the gaskets, everything. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to have to worry about it later. And I will have to worry about it later. If I don't do everything, just flat out replace it. Now, these little things we use for our, you know, Washington State civil defense thing. And just other fun stuff. A roll of Gorilla Tape, because 
And the reason it looks so funny is because I needed pieces of certain sizes. And that's kind of how it ended up. And sometimes I'll use this as a cup holder if there ain't room in here. Because all my cup holders are just freaking nasty. I'm probably going to even have to deep clean the console too. And got another fancy little tool here. This is actually for for the spark plugs to get the to get the spark plugs out of the Crown Vic you actually have to have this little knuckle here so you can go down and in to pull them out. And we have my handy dandy jump pack so When we pop the trunk, I'm going to have to plug that in because the keys are in the car and it's it's dead. Nothing, no noises, no nothing. And because it's an electronic release, I have to do that. And I can't use the key because somebody tried to break into the trunk. They didn't actually get in but they managed to fuck up the lock and disable it, so I have to watch out for that. And fuse holder. This was, this was actually for a project that my ex was doing. And I still have the warranty guide for this thing, even though this is so far out of warranty. <laughs> I'm not even worried about it. So when I get those phone calls that your car's warranty is about to expire, it's like it's been expired for it's been expired for over ten years now. And this is just paper so that's one thing we're gonna have to do is figure out garbage 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 because most of this is probably just gonna be trash like this this coil this is an old coil from when I replaced the coils but I'm gonna have to replace the coils again because Pretty sure I didn't actually get the best coils I could. So, yeah. That is a Crown Vic coil. Yep. And handy dandy tool kit. Never go anywhere without it because you never know when you're going to need tools. And I have a light stick for, this was actually originally going to be for the F-350, but I never got around to installing it because when I bought it, it was damaged and I didn't feel like shipping it back and dealing with the hassles of that. So, I kind of just have this, and I don't know. I might sell it. I might even give it away. Who knows? Because I don't need it, I don't want it, and I no need for it. And this, more trash, but somebody hit my car as I was... I was going straight through an intersection. I didn't have any lights. It was just my right of way. And a car decided that it was going to not stop at the stop sign and run the stop sign and ended up clipping me. So I had to replace that, which, as you saw in my last video, I already repaired it because that was kind of an easy and cheap fix. So I just went ahead and did that. So, 
I'm basically just now just going to clean out all the trash. And because, let's be real, nobody's interested in seeing my garbage. So I'm going to clean out all the trash, see what's all left. If I find anything interesting, I'll record it. But that's going to be what I'm doing next. Well, so cleaned out a good chunk of the stuff. And I did find some interesting things in here that I forgot about. Like my Elgato HDMI capture card, which I didn't even know I had one of these, but apparently I do. So, yeah. It's one thing I wasn't expecting to find in here. Other thing is a PA system, which doesn't have a fuse, so I need to get a need to get a fuse for that. This is, this is a brand new PA system. I must have used the fuse for something. I don't know what, but whatever I did, it must have been important. So, yeah. I know this one works because I've tested it before. I've also got the mic for it. Handy dandy little mic. This is for the light bar and got my old radio which I used before it's not hooked up to anything right now because when I put it in storage I kind of unplugged everything and I guess I just threw it on the floor so yeah it's pretty messy because like I said it's been sitting and sitting and sitting so what else is new and The glove box, we've got... What is this? Fuel injector O-ring set. A thermostat. No, what is this? Water cross, oh yeah, that's okay. And then Yeah, I guess that's for that. And then this is another fuel injector O-ring set. So in the back of the car we don't actually have that much back here. It was actually more clean it was cleaner than I originally thought it was back here but I did find my old my old school industrial box cutter which this thing is actually pre pretty meaty and it's actually somewhat still sharp surprisingly and some other stuff that I found. I found my glitter pink and pink spray paint. I found a two bit, two input USB wall charger thing. I don't actually know where that came from, but cool. I found my aviator joystick, which I haven't used that thing in a long time. wonder if it still works. I don't even know. Dusty and I used to use this for like my flight simulator and other games like that. I found my 
Hard this drill. It's almost out of battery, but it seems to be working just fine. I found the hose, radiator hose for the Crown Vic. I bought this a while back. Didn't actually end up using it. And jugs of coolant. Jugs of coolant because this thing will drink coolant like I drink water in the heat. So yeah. I also have a homemade first aid kit. You know all the usual stuff, gloves and all that. And I have a smaller personal first aid kit which I think just has band-aids in it right now yeah because I'm using it as a band-aid holder. And rope, because always have a length of rope. You never know when it'll come in handy. And that's really about it for back here. And other than a couple things here, everything else gets to be left in the car. Because, you know, that's where it belongs. Or this drill, I can stay in the car. This thing, I'll probably just leave that back here too because I don't really have a use for it anymore. And everything else gets to stay. I'm taking this in with me because I want to see if this works. It says, it says something on it. Black web. It says black web. Whatever that means. But... That's, that's really it for back of the car, front of the car, you really saw everything. So now is the, now is the time where we plug that jump pack in and we see what's in the back. Because I have a guarantee that the back is worse than the front and back seats combined. So yeah, let's jump over there and see what we've got. Now, the jump pack's on, so we can pop the trunk. Wonder if it'll start up. Looks like it starts up pretty good. Yeah. We're gonna have to watch that. We'll take the key with me because you never know. Never know. But, we pop the trunk, we're gonna go back and see what mess of dreck is back there. So, here we have it. All the stuff in the back of the Crown Vic. Looks like we've got in my suitcase. Ooh. Yeah, that's... That's garbage. Looks like I've got, I've got an air pump. This one's actually really decent because it's got a little LED display. And it's got a light. Actually, it's really powerful too. And then I have my old air compressor, which wasn't so good. It, it worked, but it was slow. Then I bought this thing, so I've got, I technically have three air compressors because that jump pack comes with an air compressor. This is a 
air compressor and that's its own air compressor. So I've got a bunch of I got a bunch of inflators. So I am I don't have to worry about my tires being low or anything like that because I can just plug and play. I've got my toolbox, which has garbage bags. Well, isn't that just a slap in the face? Cleaning out the car and I need garbage bags, so it's like, hey, I can actually clean out the trunk right today. We're gonna take one of those. We got a roll of garbage bags. What else do we have in here? Gauze rolls. Alright. And then I've got a switch controller for. This was originally gonna be for lights in the truck. So they have the broad pans are F350. I'll I showed a picture of that last episode, but I'll show another picture again here. So, yeah, that was supposed to be for that. I never actually got around to it. I got a rubber mallet, because you never know when those come in handy. I've got wire crimpers for connectors and stuff. Because I was going to wire up all my stuff. Drill bits for metal because I was actually going to use my hand drill to mount my, uh, to mount the, uh, PA system and a speaker for that. I've got, what's this over here? So I was looking over here and I was like, what is this? Well, for any veterans watching you'll probably recognize these these are filters for the for gas masks like the the avon ones that we wore in the military which i'll show a picture of mine and as you can see these haven't even been opened so i'm not even going to mess with that because that's pretty good itself, so. But anyway, back to my toolbox. We've got rubber mallet, we've got these. We've got an impact gun. Which, half inch bit, air impact gun. I don't actually know if this works or not. So, one of these days I'll figure it out and we'll we'll see if it actually works and shooting ear muffs because when I go shooting I always have ear protection when you go to the range this was actually for a mount I was trying to make a a mount for some equipment in road panzer and that's what these are for turned out that it was the wrong size and then a bag of wires because like I said I was going to wire up all that stuff in road panzer I guess I have a tape measure I've been looking for that but I guess I found it it's in the toolbox the back of the Crown Vic, and more splicers. You never know. More splicers, even more. And a funnel. Yes, this girl uses a funnel. Because I suck at pouring stuff, so I always have funnels lying around. And that's... That was something else. I don't even know what that was. Alright. Right. Garbage. So. This. 
this thing is thermostat housing for Crown Vic. Brand new in bag. Well, I did that. I didn't actually need it because the manifold, the manifold actually took care of that for me, so. Yeah, but we've got that to when we work on the, when we actually go under the hood and work on the car, I've got this. Funnel, plastic bags, because you never know. In plastic bags, you're going to need them. And I have, yeah, I have that. So, yep. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a separate video of me drinking the two liter bottle of Pepsi out of the back of the Crown Vic. So, stay tuned for that. I'll, be, I'll probably put that one up right around the same time I put this one up. So keep your eyes out for it and hope for the best, prepare for the worst. And so yeah, that's just the box. More clothing and dreck. Yeah, there's a, I have my Beretta M9A3 box in here, but the weapon's not in it. Got extra magazines for it, but the actual weapon itself isn't here. Keep that locked away. I'm gonna put that down there. Got another box, so box is garbage, so we're gonna put that in the garbage bag. Actually, no, you know what? I might actually just end up recycling that, so we're gonna throw that in the recycle pile because. It can get recycled. More, more laundry and stuff that probably is just going to end up end up being trash. Because I don't know if it's salvageable. Maybe it is. I don't even wear it really anyway, so. Let's see if it's salvageable. Another, and we, another dress, but this one was actually in a bag, so this one is actually somewhat salvageable with like that. And then have Chilton's manual, because Chilton's manual, I love these things. I'm actually glad I still have that, because it's going to be really nice for the for when we actually open the hood and start doing our repairs. And I have a gift basket that I So there was a a while back, a while 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 back. There was a uh I went with my ex to a uh, a, like an aut like it was like an auction and oh no no this isn't what that's from this is something completely different this is from bingo at the bar yeah so the local bar I go to has a they have like a bingo night kind of a thing or they used to anyway and this was one of the prizes and A bunch of candles and whatever, and who knows? I might I might end up doing I don't know a giveaway or something, and I don't know, give that to somebody who can use it because napkins and candles. Somebody will like that. I don't know. Maybe I'll regift it. Who actually knows? I have I have a little fan. A little fan back here. I don't actually know if it works. I'll see if that works too. And 
I'll probably make a mini series on all the random junk back here, see if it works, see if I can save it. See whatever I can do, because who knows? Salvageable or not? I don't actually know, but you can never have too many fans. Especially in the weather that's going on right now. So I have a drain container, but oil, that's not what I actually use this for. I use this for coolant flushes. And works pretty good. Found another wall plug in with a USB connector. I don't know. I'm gonna be loaded. Gonna, my friends are gonna be like, yo, can you plug me in? Yeah, you got a cord? Here, take this. Keep it, get rid of it. I don't wanna see it again. So, yeah, that's. And, oh, what's this? Something else back there. Hey. Water pump o ring. Huh. I am the gasket girl. All right, so I kind of cleared some stuff out, and what's in the big box? What do we have? So, pretty sure these are just boxes for what was in here, and wire crimpers and other stuff like that. But this actually is the box for a vehicle mounted Geiger counter system, but I don't actually have that in this, like none of that's in this car. Um, I think there's something in here. Oh, hello. That's a tape recorder. Old school. Yeah, so that will stay there. It's just some kind of a Oh, that's in like an old school switch. That's, that's pretty cool, I guess. So, yeah. I wasn't expecting any of that in here. But, what do you know? So we have... Tape and reel set, so that's probably tape and stuff. That, uh, and that's just an empty box. Not so. And all of these. All of these are empty. Or not. I guess there's some old school analog headphones so yeah a little blast from the past there all right so let's lift the flap see what we've got under here well that's the game without decency Was not expecting to find that back here. Put that over there. Little bag with some clothes in there. Looks like my military police. Huh. It is. It's one of my old military police. Or t-shirts from when I was in the military. Fun. Other stuff. Looks like we've got place the belt. And just a 
bunch of other random stuff in here. Nothing too... Everything else in here looks more pretty much like car stuff, you know? My spare tire. Random junk. Coolant. Oh, this isn't coolant. This is... Oh, this is de-icer. Yeah. This is my coolant. Another bottle of it, anyway. Apparently I've got another funnel. And there's another funnel over there in the back. And... A shit ton of Dr. Pepper. Guess I'm cracking a... Guess I'm cracking a Crown Vic one tonight. Because... Still can. Looks like I've got... An entire bottom half of the box left to go in this. And I still have the original owner's manual. So that's kind of a rarity, I guess. But other than that, that looks to be about it as far as goodies in the back of the Vic. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. We're gonna repack all the stuff that belongs back here. Everything else is pretty much dealt with, so next episode is of the Vic Vic is going to take place whenever I can get a new battery for it because I gotta get a new battery for it I've got to get a new manifold for it everything else I have the parts for I just can't fix it until I fix those first because I'm just gonna do it in reverse order so that's that. And like I said, if uh, stay tuned because I will drink this. Because who knows? I feel it'll make for decent content. So. Stay tuned for that, and stay tuned for more Fixing the Vic. And I guess my next other thing is, I did promise you guys that I would make some driving footage of the Vic, so stay tuned for that as well. Alrighty, chummers, creakies out of here.